Welcome back to Boat Full Sailing, everybody. Thanks for tuning in last week. Thanks for tuning in this week. We are coming to you from down below on our Morgan 382. As you can see, it's slowly coming together. We have cushions down here now, which is a good thing because we launch next Friday, June 2nd. So we are up against it. So look, this week, the Boat Fool's Top 10 is going back to the six great states of New England because there are so many great deals out there. This time, we are looking at boats for sale between the prices of $20,000 and $30,000. The last time, we were looking at boats for less than twenty. dollars now we're looking at between 20 and 30. I understand that's a narrow window, and that's because there's so many boats out there, we had to set some sort of parameter. So uh, some really cool deals, and boats are coming on the market almost daily, and a ton of them are Fizbos, and I'm seeing price drops across the board. You're gonna see that in today's video. So if you're truly in the market, I think sellers are definitely getting anxious. Sailing season is here. Boats are going in the water, and if their boat is sitting on the hard, they're gonna get anxious to get rid of it. So. I found the 10 coolest boats, in my opinion, that are currently on the market in the great states of New England. However, New Hampshire and Vermont, I am sorry to report, there were no boats that fit the bill this week. And that doesn't mean we forgot you, they just didn't have any that fit the criteria. You will be back, I promise. So uh, if you're truly in the market, get fired up because these are some cool boats and I'm really excited about this list. So if you're interested in any of them, run, don't walk. They're gonna go fast, get them while they're hot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Coming in at number 10 this week is a 1980 Catalina 38-foot sloop. List price of $28,000, located in Hull, Massachusetts, and she's been listed for about a month, and the price just dropped by 2K, so she was up at 30. I believe the seller's probably getting anxious. Sailing season is upon us. Now, there's a lot to like about this boat, but let's go over the negative first. First, the seller notes she needs some TLC. What specifically is not noted. However, he does note that the boat needs electronics. So that's not the end of the world. Let's look at the positives. She has a U U.S. Coast Guard documented vessel, which means simply you don't have to have your registration numbers up on the bow. The Coast Guard has all your information, make, model, year, and your information. So if things were to go sideways out at sea, they know exactly who and what they're looking for. It's pretty sweet. Get it. All right. So... What else? She has a newer mainsail. She also has brand new batteries, a new head, a new bimini, and a new folding prop. She also has a newer mainsail and has a gorgeous tri-radial spinnaker. Uh, and the seller is currently renewing the gel coat on the decks and coach roof. So there are no interior pictures, which is a knock against this uh, listing, but um, these uh, Catalinas are based on the Yankee 38, and it is an SNS design and uh, that's Sparkman and Stevens, and I love this boat. If you're willing to put a little work into it, you're gonna have a cool, fast boat on your hands, and she is a looker. And by looker, I'm talking about the tumble home on this boat. Uh, here's your bimini, um, and a lot of people pictures in this. These uh, decks and coach roof are being re -gel coated and here's your tri-radial spinnaker, your dual spreaders, and uh, here's your bimini again another passenger and this is what i'm talking about the tumble home that is the curvature of the hull between uh the tow rail and your water line uh this curve right here you might even see a little better right here i absolutely love it and the and it has it in spades as did the yankee 38 and i also love the transom on these it's a wine glass stem and it's transom uh, you can't really see it in this picture but you'll be able to see it in the yankee 38 in a second but uh, again no interior photos though they say there's a lot of nice teak and it's very roomy um, take a deep dive on these boats they're cool fast and they can fit your whole family and you can go just about anywhere so compared to the yankee 38 this is what i'm talking about here is that wine glass transom it is beautiful and your tumble home is all in through here and <clears throat> it's just a really pretty boat these boats are virtually identical. Comfort ratio is pushing 30. It's going to be comfortable. Uh, capsizing screening formula of under two, which is what you want. And your S factor is over two, which is also what you want. She'll be fast and she's a performance cruiser. Check it out. She's number 10 this week. All right. Whew. Coming in at number nine, another Vineyard Vixen. A lot of these are popping up and they're really pretty. This one is a particularly beautiful one. Uh, the all grip has been redone on the top sides and deck. You've got a self-tailing, uh, self-tacking jib, excuse me. You've got uh, lazy jacks and roller furling. And she is a canoe stern. She's represented by a cruising yacht brokerage. And the uh, diesel on this only has 188 hours, so it is new. Uh, this boat has been beautifully maintained. Nice bright work accent. There's your canoe stern. Um, 
and she's just a stunner. And the down below on this one is a little more Spartan than other Vineyard Vixens that we've seen. Uh, not as much uh, varnish, uh, however, um, that just simply means less maintenance. So I'm going to cruise through these pictures as fast as I can because I want to show you the diesel because it's spectacular. But these decks look beautiful. Uh, uh, reasonably new uh, Simrad uh, GPS chart plotter there on a swimming arm. Swinging arm. You also have a wood stove. Uh, cushions are all serviceable. The sole floor looks beautiful. But you can see there's not a lot of... Uh, usually these might have a... Uh, uh, a varnished roof, uh, but uh, you don't. But you have a nice uh, uh, dining in your uh, dining table settee here in your main salon, and it's just a really pretty boat. The head looks like it's been updated with a new toilet, and cushions are all are serviceable. Uh, interior is neat and tidy. Good seamanship here, and electronics are all updated. And here it comes. There is your engine with only 188 hours on it, ladies and gentlemen, worth its weight in gold. There's your Dodger frame and Dodger. And there she is, number nine this week, a beautiful 1976 Vineyard Vixen 29. All right, number eight this week is a 1985 Catalina 30. Two Catalinas on our list this week. This is just came on the market today, which means it'll be about four days old by the time you see it. She's located in Yarmouth, Maine. Uh, list price of $24,000, 1985 Catalina 30. Let's look at the pictures. All right, uh, stack pack roller furling. The owner bought this. Uh, oh, uh, the Beta Marine diesel only has 110 hours on it, so it's basically brand new. Uh, the owner bought it two years ago and has put over 10 grand into it. Uh, soda blast at the bottom, new barrier coat, new bottom paint. This boat is ready to rock and roll. The fuel tank has been cleaned and refurbished. Um, all the bright work has been done. You have a touchscreen, uh, Garmin GPS chart plotter, and uh, solar, and really just a pretty boat. And a nice cockpit for entertaining. For 30 feet, you get a lot of boat. Um, and let's see, there's a laundry list of things that have been done. The sails have been refurbished by Hallett. You got new Genoa and main halyards as of 2023, new Genoa sheets as of 2021, um, on and on and on. I'll let you go through these. But uh, this is a really pretty example of the Catalina 30. I love it. And for the price of $24,000, and it's a FISBO, you might be able to get it for less. Uh, she's in excellent condition. Go for it. This is a cool boat. Check it out. All right, that is number eight this week. Coming in at number seven is a 1987 Cal 33 Mark II. List price of $22,000, located in North Kingston, Rhode Island, and the price has dropped by $1,500 back on May 4th. So she's been on the market uh, for uh, at least a month now, I would reckon, and I would take a close look at this. This is a fast boat, uh, Cal pedigree, and uh, well-made, solid boats. She's got a stack pack, uh, lazy jacks, roller furling, wheel steering, uh, transom ladder, and she is broker represented by uh, Brewer Yacht Sales. So um, uh, I don't know how much wiggle room there will be here, but she is from California, which is interesting. So she must have come around somehow or shipped over. Uh, you've got auto helm, I can tell. And um, I want to get to some of the down below pictures because um, while not uh, overly fancy, uh, it's got great utility. The cushions all look great and uh, serviceable. Head looks nice, nice and clean. Uh, obviously, someone cared about this boat. Uh, you've got a nice half moon uh, settee in your main salon. And, uh, you know, uh, I bet that folds into a double. Oh, one thing I did note was some staining here. And I don't know if that's staining or just when they refinished. Uh, cows are generally well made, so I'd be surprised if it was a leak, uh, but one never knows. Uh, get a good survey. Nav station, um, and it looks like you'll have great engine access here under your companionway and a nice galley uh, that's nice and secure in any sort of sea state. Decks look great. And this boat is going to be fast, ladies and gentlemen, fast, fast, fast. I did have an Ericsson 32-3 uh, that I was going to put on today's list. However, um, there, oh, by the way, there's not a lot of information on this. So um, we're just going to assume that uh, you can get a good survey or that the broker might have more information about the diesel, for example. But so I compared it to the Ericsson 32.3 that I wanted to list instead of the Cal. But um, it really came down to performance and the Cal is just a faster boat, uh, a little bit deeper keel, a little bit beamier, uh, a little bit longer and uh, a little bit longer on the water line by two feet. So she's going to be faster just by virtue of that alone. But a sail area of displacement of 18.17 versus 17.42. Uh, comfort ratios are basically the same. 
and S factor of uh, nearly two and a half versus 218. So she's going to be a fast, responsive boat. So if you're looking for a performance cruiser, uh, she'd be well worth checking out. Okay, number six this week is a 1978 Southern Cross Cutter 28 footer. Honestly, this is only the second one I've seen, and I profiled the other one a few episodes ago, and I'll put that information uh, down below. But uh, for those interested, uh, Good Old Boat did a feature on a retrofit on a, uh, on a sister ship, uh, Southern Cross 28, in their March-April edition. So if you want to do a deep dive, check it out. I love these boats. They're adorable. It's a classic pocket cruiser. You got beautiful shear lines, cutter rig, uh, radar. Uh, almost a full keel with a sort of a brewer bite here. So uh, not as uh, sluggish and turning as a full keel, uh, but you've got some steadiness of a full keel. I love it. Let's take a look. So uh, she was um, she was built by the Ryder Company in Bristol and finished by the uh, owner who bought her, uh, who was a, uh, uh, a professional skilled carpenter. So the original owner did the finish work down below, um, which that might turn some people off, but I think it's worth taking a look at this. She's located in Warwick, Rhode Island, list price of 25,000. Uh, really, really pretty boat. And nice bowsprit here, um, roller furling jib, nice protected cockpit if you put this, uh, these sides up here. Uh, nice little dodger, a nice bright work accents, a three, bra three blade folding prop. And the down below looks clean and serviceable. Um, cushions look nice, uh, center line sink, and a little efficient uh, stove here, uh, cooktop, and um, your main salon uh, folds out into a double bed here. You also have a V berth up in the bow, and um, just a really pretty boat. I love the Southern Cross 28. If you want a pocket cruiser that would take you around the world, this boat is for you. She is number six this week. All right, coming in at number five is a Fizbo, posted about a month ago. It's a Dickerson 36-foot sloop with only 530 engine hours. Condition noted as good. Aft cockpit, fiberglass hull, teak decks, and it is gorgeous. I don't know a lot about these, nor have I seen many on the market for sale. Not many were made, um, but I am in love with the lines on this boat. You've got a full keel, bowsprit, um, self-tailing winches, and... Apparently decent headroom by the looks of it, but I love the down below. I love the dark varnish wood. Many people don't like this. I love it. I'm a sucker for it. Hot summer day, come down into a nice, cool, dark cabin. You also have this sort of diner style um, dinette here. This lowers down so it folds into a double and just beautiful lines on this boat. Uh, single spreader mast, easy rig to sail. You've got lazy jacks and I believe you have a, yes, you have a stack pack, teak decks, uh, so if you like a little more maintenance in your life uh, or you have someone who can do it for you, this boat is worth checking out. I love it. I love the lines. Really a beautiful boat. You've got this nice stainless steel rub rail right here. Um, in any event, here's some sailboat data on this. Um, let's see. She was first built in 1971. She also came as a catch and however as uh, I noted earlier this is a sloop the one we're looking at um, as a Western Beak diesel uh, comfort ratio of nearly 30 uh, it's gonna be a very very comfortable boat uh, s factor of nearly 1.7 so reasonable performance out of her a sail air displacement over 16 she is basically a heavy she is a heavy displacement uh, displacement the length of 300 um, just a very steady eddy boat in any kind of sea state and I find her to be really just a gorgeous boat so she is number five this week check it out again it's a fizbo aim low really neat boat love it okay number four this week ladies and gentlemen is a 1979 bristol 32 noted to be in excellent condition list price of twenty six thousand dollars located in osterville massachusetts now it says it was listed about a month ago i believe i saw this on the market last fall she probably didn't sell uh, she's back on take a close look at this one i bet the seller's getting anxious it's really pretty she only draws four eight she has a 20 horsepower yanmar diesel um, and this is one of the prettiest boats on the water and has beautiful overhangs, wheel steering, dodger, roller furling, radar, single spreader mast. It's going to be easy to handle and you've got a windlass. 
and the down below is spotless. These cushions look new. The uh, the varnish and finish down below looks impeccable. Uh, it looks like somebody's living room for crying out loud. I love this. It looks like you have a Lee cloth holder right there so you can put that in and uh, you'd be uh, safe in your berth at sea. Um, again, down below looks spotless. Uh, electronics uh, look decent. It looks like you're missing your toilet paper holder here, but that's easy to put back in there. Um, and you've got a, uh, a ice box with a refrigeration and drain, and there's your windlass. Really just a pretty example of the Bristol 32. It is a FISBO, aim low, I love this. It has a 1979 Yanmar, so uh, probably a little bit older, but if it's been well-maintained, it's probably absolutely fine. Just get a good survey done. All right, she's number three this week. Uh, number four this week, actually. So number three this week is a 1979 Morgan 382. Now look, she would have been number one, but I would have been accused of nepotism. Uh, I have a Morgan 382. I have a 1980 382, and I love it. This boat was listed a couple of weeks ago and was just relisted at a much lower price. I believe she was listed at around 32 or 34,000. She's now listed at 23.5. She's located in Blue Hill, Maine. This is a really pretty example of the Morgan 382. Um, a very simple rig. You got the split back stay, you got, uh, stay, which is great for your head when you're standing there steering or standing on your aft little transom here. You've got a uh, aft uh, transom ladder, roller furling, radar, um, and the Ports have been replaced with um, bronze replacements and no soft spots noted in the deck. Nice high uh, bulwarks on this. The teak looks like it could be redone, but it is beautiful. It's a really, really pretty boat. And the down below looks clean. He drinks light beer. I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. Uh, you've got a pilot berth and the sole floor looks beautiful. Um, a lot to like about this boat. And since I own one, I can speak to its uh, sea kindliness and she is great in any kind of sea. I love this boat. Um, at that price, you're not gonna get hurt. And it has a Perkins 4108, which has been regularly maintained, though it looks like it'd use a paint job. Uh, these things are bulletproof, knock wood, because uh, I have one. And uh, you got the center line double sink and your engine access behind the companionway. You can get to it on the uh, uh, quarter berth here. And I put another access port on the port side as well. Uh, you can get to all the working parts. The head has a standing shower and um, just a really pretty boat and really steady on its feet. I highly recommend if you're interested in a Morgan, check this boat out. It has a five foot draft. Your prop is protected in the Skeghog rudder area here and uh, you can't go wrong. The all grip on the top size has been redone on this boat and it looks beautiful. She is number three this week. All right, coming in at number two is another Vineyard Vixen, a 1984 Vineyard Vixen 34, list price of $29,000, located in Bourne, Massachusetts, represented by South Coast Yacht Sales. This is a pretty example, not a lot of information other than it's a complete cruiser, very well maintained, and a recent price drop of five grand. I would go for this boat if I were in the market for a boat. It looks like either that they didn't pull their sail up all the way or their asymmetrical spinnaker was not the right fit for this boat. But uh, it does have a snuffer sock on it and you've got radar. And this one is an example. Uh, you also have a windlass. These pictures were taken in 2005. I'm not sure why they put those up. But um, the teak looks like you could redo it if you wanted to brighten it up. But um, she has a nice deep cockpit. This version of the Vineyard Fiction does have more of the varnish down below, which I particularly love because it is nice and bright in, on this one, and it is beautiful. The head looks decent. Uh, the cushions look serviceable. The mattress looks fine. I just need some new covers. Uh, the diesel engine looks like uh, the alternator might not be on there at the moment, but uh, who knows what the condition of that is, but get a good survey. But there we go. Nice uh, wood ceiling roof here. I love it. Uh, just requires a little more maintenance, but uh, the sole floor looks beautiful. What a beautiful looking boat. I love this boat. This boat would take you around the world. She is number two this week. All right, drum roll, please. Coming in at number one is a 1965 Pearson Allberg 35. I love this boat. This price of $22,000 located in Cottonmouth, Massachusetts. Uh, this boat has been regularly maintained and the engine was replaced in 2000, new mass as of 2001. Um, you're gonna see some dated pictures of cushions that have just the covers left but no cushion inside. The current owners took them out, we don't know why. 
Uh, for many years, uh, this boat was a racer, and she was the boat to beat in the annual Fagawi race, as in where the Fagawi. And um, it is a really pretty example of an Alberg 35, and she has been lovingly maintained. So let's take a quick look. Uh, Lazy Jacks, Roller Furling, um, beautiful lines on this boat, full keel. And I love the dark red bootstripe with the gold cove stripe and uh, the teak accents. It's just, it's really a gorgeous boat. And you got a nice protected prop here and uh, you've got a windlass. You've got nice high bulwarks on this and the decks just look like they've been hit by a bird. And I love the drain boxes on this. Uh, it's going to require some maintenance. You got a newer uh, GPS chart plotter by Garmin there. And there are your cushions that no longer have the cushions inside, but the covers are still available. The sole floor looks beautiful. All the varnish looks great. Um, the head has been updated with a new toilet. I love it. I love this boat. It's hot, hot, hot. It is so cool. I love the white and the teak. And the diesel, when we get to it, looks like it's been well maintained. You've got a two burner cooktop stove. And um, it's coming up. I know it is. There's your quarter berth. And there you're. Let's see. There it is. There's your diesel right there. It looks like it's newer, been well maintained. I love it. I love this boat. And if you look at the uh, sail data on it, it's going to be a reasonable former sailor displacement of 16, comfort ratio of nearly 35. This is going to be a comfortable boat, ladies and gentlemen. And an S factor of just over one, not the speediest in light wind, uh, but she'll, uh, she'll get going in a breeze. Um, she's a heavy displacement boat. Check it out. Number one this week, hot, hot, hot. I love it. Alberg 35, really, really beautiful boat. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.